Hi everyone, welcome to the coding channel. Today is the 33rd episode of our Java programming tutorial series. And in this episode, we are going to talk about how to create a Java GUI using JFrame class. Listen more when we come back. So we will start um, creating a desktop application by um, creating the basic uh, Java uh, GUI and we will be uh, using the um, uh, Swing um, GUI or the Java Swing um, Go GUI. Now to start with, we have we need to um, instantiate an object out of a JFrame class. Okay, and the JFrame is a um, class within a Java Swing package. Let's say, for example, we have a J frame, and then uh, let's call it um, my frame is equal to a new uh, J frame. Okay, so that's it. And then um, by default, the uh, frame is um, hidden. So if you're going to uh, run this one, okay, you don't see um, any output here. Okay. You will not see any uh, frame because uh, by default it's hidden. Now, to make it visible, we will be using um, methods of a JFrame class. These are non-static methods of JFrame class. So one example is the set visible. So set visible, and then you just uh, put uh, true as an argument since by default it's a false. Okay, so again, set visible is a method of a JFrame um, class. Okay, so. Uh, Let's try to uh, run this one. Okay. Now, uh, as you can see, we have uh, an error here in line number 12. It's because um, set visible is um, a method of um, JFrame. And um, every time we access this method of JFrame, we uh, need to um, proceed it with an object name that we uh, already have uh, created. So in this case, we have uh, created a my frame. So we will uh, uh, include the my frame here. So my frame that set visible true. Okay, so that's the uh, correct um, way of accessing the set visible um, method of JFrame class. Okay, so once you run it, as you can see, in the uh, up above, we have in the um, uh, corner. So this is an example of the um, of, uh, frame. But uh, you okay by default you can only see the uh, the title bar with the uh, maximize button and the close button and uh, the uh, default um, icon. Okay, it's because um if you want to uh, specify the size, meaning the the width and then the height, for example. So we will be needing another um method of a JFrame class. So for example, a my frame dot uh, set a size, and then we uh, specify the uh, width and height okay for example uh, let's tr just try it, uh, 400 and then 400 okay then we are going to um, run again so there you go so this is now an example of our frame and by default as you can see the location it always um, appears in the uh, uh, at the upper um, uh, left corner okay of our um, screen okay and we can actually modify that if you appear this one every time we execute our java program uh, for example um somewhere here okay so we will uh, be uh, using another method of frame so my frame uh, that for example a uh, set location and then you specify uh, the um the x and um y or in pixels okay uh, for example we have um uh, 400 uh, then uh, x meaning the distance from the uh, left margin and then we have a uh, 200 distance from top okay so let's try okay so that's it we have um 400 from left and distance from top that's 200 okay in um, pixels so that's it uh, what else aside from set size set visible set location we can also um change the um, or put the um, uh, title in our uh, title bar of our frame so using uh, my frame that set a title 
I'm having this one for example um main menu sorry main menu and then semicolon so once you run okay we have now a frame with a main menu um uh title okay so that's it now if you uh if you have noticed we have a minimize here maximize and a close button so if you want to uh disable the maximize button since we already uh set the the width and the height of our um Mm, frame okay so we can um, add here uh, for example the uh, my, my frame that set a resizable pots okay simple as that if you want to um, disable the maximize button so this is now uh, disabled okay now if we every time we close if we mean that um uh when we close the uh, x button here uh we mean uh we want to exit okay so we can uh, just specify here over here uh for example my frame uh, that um set uh, default close operation okay and then we just uh, have to specify um the uh, constant here a j frame dot um exit on close underscore on and close okay so that's the command so that our um frame will um exit successfully every time we uh, close the uh, uh, x button okay so that's it um another um actually uh if you if you don't want to use the set title method of jframe class okay we can um still uh, put the uh, text on the title bar um within the um argument of the um, uh, jframe here so we can just uh, put here for example um my main menu okay i'll just uh, put my main menu for uh, and then i um uh, comment i uh, make this uh, set title uh, as a comment so that we can um, use this one this uh, other way okay if you don't want to use the set title so we can uh, also um put the uh, text there in the, in our um jframe um uh class so meaning because uh, because uh this j frame now calls the um uh, the uh, default constructor and pass the main um menu um method when i say constructor um this is a special method of a uh, class and soon we will be um uh, uh discuss that one okay so for now just um uh keep in mind that every time we want to put a text here to modify we can just uh, use the set title method of j frame class or we can just put the uh, text there as argument of our uh, j frame okay so what else we have the subtitle now now as you can see we also have the uh, icon here okay so uh we can um change this one if we want okay but uh, take note that um before you can change that okay make sure that you have um for example uh, that png okay that uh, jpg um uh, type of icon and then you have to copy and paste that one uh, here for example uh, if you're using the eclipse okay i have here the logo for example the png so i just um uh, paste it here in the uh, source folder or if uh of, or within the source folder you have um another um a package for example in my case i have a method so i just um uh, paste it here okay so make sure that it's, it's uh, visible and then after that you can now um use the um another method of a jframe this is uh, my frame uh, that uh, image and then that's the uh, method of a uh, jframe class if you want to modify the uh, icon that is located uh, at the um, upper I mean uh, at the uh, upper left of the uh, frame let's say for example we have this one my menu so this one if you want to change this okay so uh the argument we just have to put here new image icon image icon is a class uh, under all of uh, javax that swing also so image icon and then you specify here the url of your um, image in my case i have a logo.png here so you just have to uh, put for example logo there that png okay and then uh, that a uh, get image so th this is the um, um, method 
okay so make sure that you uh, import the, the um uh, what do you call this the image icon here for javax that's swing image icon okay another way of doing this okay um uh, i just want to show you um for instance you can actually um, create a um an object of image icon for example uh, my icon for example i have uh, my uh, new object my icon uh, is equal to new image icon okay and then you can actually put it here uh, logo dot png okay so that's the other uh, way and then instead of uh, putting new image icon here okay so uh, let me just um, comment this one so that you have an I'm showing you uh, the other way okay so you can actually um, use my frame that set icon image new instead of new image icon so we will be using now the object name here so it's my icon dot get image okay just another way okay you declare first an object here and then use the object and then followed by that and then use the get, get image icon the result is uh, almost is uh, still the same. Okay, but uh, so we already have changed now the uh, default icon of our um, frame. As simple as that. Okay, and then another way also of using that is um, let me show you the um, let me just um, uh, comment this one. Okay, so we have another way. So my frame that set. Uh, icon image okay so this time i will not use the icon and the image icon class okay so i will i will use the um, uh, toolkit that get default uh, toolkit that get um, image and then we will put now the uh, logo here logo dot png Okay, this is another way. But uh, again, don't forget to um, import the toolkit. Okay, the toolkit is under Java that, uh, out the toolkit. So if you have this uh, um, type, if you use the toolkit, that get default toolkit, you don't need to um, instantiate an object of image icon class. So I'll, uh, I'll just um, comment that one. Okay, so I just use the, the this one as argument of set icon image, the toolkit that get default toolkit. And the result is still the same. Okay, so here you go. That's it. Okay, now another, if you want to um, change the background color of our uh, frame, okay, if you want to change that one, we can, uh, that is possible by using the uh, just I put here okay by the way um this uh, method okay uh the the order is um not necessary for as long as it's present inside of our main method for example okay so it uh, still works fine so for example i have um my frame dot okay so let me uh, explain uh first th to you okay the the, the frame now our frame, uh, let me just uh, close this one. Again, let's try to run. Oh, sorry. Let me just uh, run first. Okay. Okay. Now, if you want to change the um, uh, background color, okay, I just want to explain that the, uh, the frame has uh, different layers. Okay, we have uh, the glass pane, we have the gut, uh, the content pane we have the root pane layered pane and a lot more okay so these are layers in um, um in a, in a frame okay so if we want to change the background okay we normally put that in a um, in get content pane um layer okay so get content pane is again is a method of jframe class so we will use the uh, name and then that uh, get content pane content pane dot set background okay and then for example we have a color dot blue okay that's it so again a color is a uh, new method so we need to import from java that uh, awt 
Okay, so get content pane. Get content pane. Okay, and take note uh, to uh, put here um, open and close parentheses. So my frame that get content pane uh, that set background. Okay, so there. That's all for today. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And as always, show your love through comments and favorites. God bless and thank you for watching.